Yo, what's going on guys? It's Rest. In this video, I want to go over the Creeping Corruption. If you don't know, this is a brand new weapon that was added to the Bunker Masters or Vault Card 3. You're going to be able to pay 5 keys for it, and this is the weapon that you're going to be able to get. Now, in this video, this will be an unanointed version because I just unlocked it. But as you see, it says, On kill, corruption spreads to nearby enemies. Then infected enemies take 33% more damage, and it can stack up to 3 toms. Now this is a dull weapon so it is going to have fully automatic and a burst form and the red text of this weapon says how it comes thus. So if we just take a look at it really quick, as you see, it looks pretty much just like any other dull assault rifle. Uh, it fires normal, then you can swap to burst mode. Obviously, it does have a pretty nice chunky sound to it, which is really cool. But I'm going to take it over here into the uh, Molly One takedown and I'm just going to show you guys what it can do. Uh, this is just going to be a normal mode. And... I've honestly, I've used this a little bit just to test the legendary effect out. And I can tell you that it isn't the greatest. So the way it basically works is the more you shoot an enemy, you're going to put a corruption on the enemy. You'll actually start doing corrosive damage to them. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't want to do it to the rats right there. But there you go. As you see, it's starting to do corrosive damage. So when you kill this enemy, it's actually going to uh, spawn little breath of uh dying like orbs somewhat and it's going to track to another enemy which will give the corruption that to that enemy it didn't uh hit that enemy unfortunately but as you see it it's going to try to track out an enemy it will hit the little rat right here and now you do 33 percent more damage and this can stack and typically once you have one on it will keep continue to spread over and over again as you see i do have another one back here that i can kill and uh, as you can already see from the gameplay you can already kind of tell that it is not the greatest thing, but I'm going to take it up here to where enemies are kind of grouped up a little bit more. Just as a damage uh, base, though, like it's not doing that bad. As you see, you're going to have to wait for the little corruption to spread over here to this enemy. And there we go. Now you do 33% more damage, which, you know, it, it's okay. Uh, and obviously they can stack, so it'll be pretty much a total of 100% more damage. But the projectile, the problem is the projectile of this is so, so slow to actually spread to another enemy there's literally like no reason for you to ever use this because i mean as you see like you don't even really need that damage increase to kill everything and since you're killing everything so fast it doesn't have time to even spawn the corrosive little spread we have it right here and there we go it is gonna uh attach to the the war dog right here i kill this one then it's gonna spread again but as you see you have to sit here and like wait for the corruption to start doing stuff meanwhile you could just turn around and just kill everything and not have to worry about it and you could just use a better gun i definitely don't think this gun is gonna have like that much of a space in the game you know maybe you can make it work on some characters and maybe you can have some form of corrosive build going on uh it could be pretty good uh, and also maybe it, it could be okay for a ball scene i know like it's all around spreading you know corrosive and everything it should be really good for mobbing but if you can get three stacks of the corrosion on a boss like the kraken right here you know you're doing like pretty much 100 percent more damage to the boss so like it could be good in that aspect you see it kind of can't chunk him down it's just it's not gonna outperform other weapons that we have in the game i guess is what i'm trying to say and you know it just having a very very niche effect i just don't know if you would ever see it using this now again this is without an anoint so again this is obviously going to be better once you get an anoint but for now like i don't really see why you would use this over other stuff and with things like the uh blade tree right here which is i can already tell you is just going to be insane i would much much rather get spend your five keys on this instead of spending on this because other guns are just going to outperform it and it's just not the greatest but that is my opinion so let me know what you guys think about it if you have used it but that's what it all for this video if you guys did enjoy consider sticking around doing all the normal youtube stuff it really helps me out and channel grow by getting these videos out there for everyone to see i truly appreciate it but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace